and a reigning Olympic champion, Victor Axelsen from Denmark. So who will join Kunlawud Widerzan in the semi-final tomorrow? We are about to find out. Well, as we wait for the players' announcement, it's delighted to say that the former Danish head coach, Steen Pedersen, is here with me. It's a wonderful light show we can see, but we're also in for some wonderful badminton. Yeah, it's fantastic matches uh, that's waiting for us here um, this evening in, um, in Paris. And this, of course, has been the first opportunity for badminton's elite to experience this wonderful Olympic venue. It is exactly 140 days before the start of the Olympic Games here in Paris. And this wonderful venue was only opened last month. It really does have the wow factor when Steve and I walked in. We literally were quite gobsmacked. It is a beautiful arena. It seats 8,000 people uh, for sporting events, 9,000 for concerts. Uh, but we are now down to two courts here. We have been playing with four courts all week. For men's singles, the build-up is well underway for our first quarter-final of the season. Well, the countdown has begun. The Commonwealth Games gold medalist, Alaksha Sen, against the former world champion, Mo Ken Yu. Neither of these players are seeded. They both beat seeds yesterday in the second round. Luxia Sen beat last year's beaten finalist Li Xin Feng of China. Whereas Lo Ken Yu beat the Olympic bronze medalist Anthony Sini Sukaginti. Well, this, I can tell you, will be a ninth meeting between these two players, as the previous eight, Lachia Sen, has won five of them, including the last, which was in the first round of last year's Malaysia Masters Super 500 event. It was three games in Kuala Lumpur, 55 minutes, but pretty convincing in the deciding game, 21-9. In fact, that last meeting is the only time uh, that these two, in their eight previous meetings, have gone the full distance, gone to three games. Red or black? Black. Black, red for you. Your choice? That side. So look, Yu has you won serve. the toss of the coin and has chosen ends. Well, caused a sensation when he won the World Championships in Huelva in 2021. And it was at those same World Championships when this band won his first and only, so far, World Championship medal, a bronze in Welva as well for the 22-year-old Lakshya Sain. From Almora in the Himalayan foothills, it's at high altitude, 5,000 feet. Did spend three weeks as world number six across two different spells, but currently down at 19. I beat the 2021 winner of the French Open, Sunyama, in the first round, having lost the first game. And in the second round, uh, beat last year's beaten finalist, as I was telling you, Li Shifeng of China, once again having to come from a game down. Hour and 20 minutes for his match yesterday. Lo Ken Yu is the older of the two. He's 26 years of age, born in Penang in Malaysia, uh, but uh, gained Singapore citizenship in February 2015. Five foot nine in height 
and he, like his opponent, is down from his career high. He reached as high as three for eight consecutive weeks from the beginning of November 2022. He beat the home player, Thomas Jr. Popoff, in two straight games in the first round and in the second round, as I was telling you, beat the number five seed, the Olympic bronze medalist from the last Olympic Games, Anthony Sini Sukaginti. It was a remarkable third game, I have to tell you, because it was 13 all in the decider. And then Lo Ken Yu really Ready pulled away, play. winning it 21-16. Gunas Lasveros of Latvia is our umpire for this one. And Jakob Sinberg, the service judge from Denmark. Well, both these players will see this as a big opportunity, having put out seeds to be in semi-finals of such a major event. Prakash Padukon on the left as we look at them and Vimal Kumar on the coaching bench for Lakshya Sen. And that's very fitting, isn't it? Because Lakshya Sen uh, grew up at, and learnt his badminton at the Prakash Academy. On my left, Lakshya Sen, India. Locking you to serve, love all, play. So it is the former world champion, Locking you of Singapore, far side of the court, getting this quarterfinal match underway. One love. Oh, he looks Two nervous at the love. start, does Naksha Sen. First quarter final of the year for the Indian player. And second round loss and two first round losses from his first three tournaments of the year. Oh, indecision there. In contrast, Lo Ken Yu has already One, been in a two. final so far this year. That was the Thailand Masters in Bangkok, where he lost in the final to Cho Tien Chen of Chinese Taipei. Also was in the quarterfinal of the Indonesia Masters in Jakarta. So this is his third quarterfinal of the year. Just wide. Steen, that suggests Two that, uh, you know, if you go on the form book of how they've played so far this year, that Loken you should be uh, perhaps a slight favourite in this, but I don't think it's that simple. No, I, I think it's really difficult to uh, to call this. Um, we saw the match yesterday where Lakshya Sen played brilliantly against uh, Li Xifeng. Uh, I didn't see the full match of, of Loken Yu, but he must have played well to uh, defeat Anthony Ginting yeah. as well. One of the interesting things is that this is perhaps the two fastest players on the uh, world tour in terms of speed of movement. More so than Ginting. Um, uh, Ginting is up there as well, but I think Ginting's speed is mainly in the... Um, 
in the uh, attacking phase. I don't think he's as fast in his defense as he is in his attack. And what about Kudai Naraoka? Uh, uh, he's super fast as well. Yeah. But, yeah. but the... Uh, the um, That's a pace. Heavy backhand. They can follow up their smashes with these two. They smash and then they're almost immediately at the net. Yeah. Four, two. Smash. Over. Slightly Five, across three. the body towards the right hip of Look and You. Perfect placement. Look at that. So, Steen, just going back to the point that you were making about them being two of the fastest players on court. So, it's not going to be battle of speed today. So, what is it going to come down to? Uh, I feel that. Um the, um, I, I feel that Lakshya perhaps has a more clear plan on what he wants to do uh, compared to uh, Lowe. I'm, I'm interested to see if, if Lowe has changed a little bit. Lowe likes to sort of play the counter-attacking uh, style and, and retrieve um, a lot of what the opponent is throwing at him and then go on the attack. We saw yesterday that uh, Lakshya said he was not afraid to... Uh, to uh, attack and many smashes in a row. Smash, follow up, smash, follow up, smash, follow up against um, against uh, Li Shifeng. But it's also going to be interesting to see the, the speed of the shuttles. I felt from watching uh, some of the early matches today that the shuttle speed perhaps is a little bit slower today than it was yesterday. Yeah, you mentioned that as we were uh, coming down to the arena. Is that going to suit Service one over. of them more than the other, if they are a Four, little bit slow? Six. Uh, yes, I think they are. I, I think actually it will suit uh, looking you um, a little bit better. Mm. Um, I feel that um, that he won his uh, World Championship in very, very slow conditions in uh, Huelva. And um, over. when he can control Seven. his lift, when, when he's in trouble and he can just sort of... Uh, play it to the back line without worrying too much, then um, then he's a dangerous man. Yeah, it's not easy to get the shuttle past, like she's saying, no. is it, deep no. into the corners. 
And we can see he almost gets this one back, but it's just yeah. a little bit too much pressure on, so he's not able to get it back into the court. As I recall it yesterday, I just started on the near side as well against uh, Li Xifeng and lost that game and then came back. Seven, oh. I think he started in more aggressive mood than he started his match yesterday as well, Laksha. Yeah. And yesterday he he sort of um, picked up on it during the match and, and finished very aggressive. Um, here I think maybe it's important to be a little bit more patient. Um, oh my goodness! What a cross court net shot! Missed it. Well, it's got to be the longest rally so far. Seven, there was a seven, wonderful cross court net shot. From, eight, oh, there seven. it is. That was brilliant. I'm surprised it's only 25 shots. It seemed longer than that. Eight, seven. Maybe because it was such quality. High quality, high pace. They've um, started out very well. <laughs> Just wide. Now, I like the idea through there, Steve. Playing the net shot off the net shot. Yep. Yeah, good call, line judge. Oh, a good spinning shot. Great follow -up. Well, I was surprised after that lovely Nine, spinning net shot eight. that you mentioned at the Nine, time, Steve. He had a short lift, and Lo Ken Yu chose to play a drop shot rather than put it away. Yeah, <laughs> I was a little bit surprised as well, but, but on the other hand, um, so we you. always emphasize variation. Yep. Nine, six eight. points to Lo Ken Yu. Yeah, nice. Six Ten, of the last seven eight. points. Wrong. Service over. Nine, ten. Short again. It's good defense. Going wide, and it is Lo Ken Yu, who was 4-7 adrift the at one stage. Goes to the mid-game interval with a two-point advantage. Sometimes push the pace, and you have to make him work. You're not doing that, you know. 
started and then we came in full. I distinctly heard Vimal Kumar, twice winner of the French Open, and it was uh, uh, a whole different era, I think is the way of putting it, but um, he said you've got to make him work. Did yeah. you hear that, Steen? Yeah, I, I had a difficult time picking up what he was, um, what he was saying. So, uh, so I thought it was either work or move. 11. Um, and I think also from the hand movements of um, Prakash, uh, it looked like he was urged to play a, a, a clear or two. I, as far as I recall, it, Prakash was a great believer in clearing game. Him and Morton Frost, they have, they've played yeah. their fair share of clears. But here it makes sense because if, if you um, play downwards every time you have the chance, then it's too easy readable for your opponent. Oh, yeah, so again, quick on that one. Such good follow-up, so isn't so it? Well Gets the thumbs up ten. from coach. Kelvin Ho. Differences for Laksha um, in terms of yesterday when he played um, Li Shifong is that the smashes from Li Shifong they were sort of meant as killers, whilst the smashes here they're, they're meant as sort of build up shots for yeah. looking you to uh, then uh, do something good with it on the front court. Service over. 11, 13. That's well judged. Well, that's three errors on the 13. near back line here, which was... Um, I, my my thought was that Low was playing up against the drift. I might be completely wrong. Service over. Well, the first day that 14, we commentated, we 12. thought the shuttle was flying faster, coming towards Luxia Sen's yes. end of the court, and then it seemed to change yesterday. Definitely changed yesterday. Of course, Loka New is 15, looking to reach 12. a second semi-final in the French Open, a second consecutive, because he was in the semi-final last year, where he lost to the eventual champion, Jonathan Christie. Well, Josh, and as far as Lakshya Sen is concerned, well, 16, he's trying to become 12. only the third player from India to reach the semi final of the French Open in the Super Series and World Tour era. Lakshya? Of course, Kidambi. Shrikant won the title seven years ago. And also, seven years ago, uh, Pranoy was in the semi-final, so there was two Indians in the semi-final back in so 2017. 13, 16. 
And there's the clear from uh, Lakshasen. Just before his uh, cross mesh. Service over. 17 13. I guess I have to give. Um, we can use some credit for that uh, forehand service return. It's spinning a lot. Very, very nice play. Ooh, Oy, that's, that's a good shot. One service shot. over. 14 17. Seem to almost put a little bit of topspin on that at the last moment to guide it across court. Fantastic. Patient play by Laksha at the moment. Excellent. Yeah, and that means dividends. 17. Straight points now for Luxor Sent. It's an awfully lot of work rate from Loka New. And now it's changed, now it's Luxor Sent who wins on the counter attacking uh, chances. Not working, of course, he's working hard, but not using extreme energy. And uh, We've discussed it earlier where I feel that that's one of the uh, development areas for looking you the Thank ability you. to control a match better. Um, so if Laksha has the defense to um, to counter the attacks of, of looking you, then um, I feel he quicker than Laksha runs out of uh, solutions. Important point too, wasn't it? Yeah. 18, 17. 17. This is five straight points now to Laksha Sen. Look where he's smashing that from. Barely half court. adjustment in the, in the game of the oh. from India. Oh, an easy miss, though. 18 all. Yeah, uncharacteristic for him. Yeah. Well, perhaps, as you mentioned, a little bit tensed. Uh, a win here would um, see him move into uh, top 16 in the uh, race to Paris list. And, uh, oh currently then be qualified for the Olympics alongside yeah. Pranoy. It's an important match. Oh, good nice shot. Ooh, that was going wide. Oh, lovely build-up. Yeah. Again with the clear from uh, Lowe. 
1918. That one. Yeah. You need a doctor? Lakshya, show me. Show me this. Yeah, it was a blood injury. He's grazed his finger, I think, Lakshya sent. Yeah. I mean, shouldn't he win this match, Lakshya Sen? He will still have chances to uh, move into the um, uh, qualifiers um, for the Olympics, of course, but, but every player wants to do it as quickly as possible. You, you never know what happens. You might yeah. suffer an injury. And if you have an injury that uh, takes a month to recover from, then you can play no more uh, tournaments exactly. in the Olympic qualification. But you could still have made the Olympics if you had qualified. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's going to get some uh, full skin spray. Ooh, that's a heck of a lot of spray on there. You don't touch it, just let it dry, okay? And you you don't, don't put anything on it, okay? Grace. And the court is having to get mopped as well from where the blood splattered onto the court. Can we just it? Yes. Thank you. Is Loken Yu with the advantage, a one point advantage. 1918. 1918 Play. confirms our umpire. Yeah, I would have been tempted to challenge given the uh, standing. Yeah. It's gone long. So the game point opportunity is so earned is by Low Ken Yu. 20. Game point, 19. And he converts Game. and the only gave Game to the Lo former Ken world Yu, champion, Lo Ken Yu of Singapore. What an excellent opening game. Ebbs and flows. 21-19 in 26 minutes. Just be 
Yeah, yeah, come on. Come on. You can do it, don't worry. Well, as you can see, the players are ready to resume play, but uh, the court attendants are still trying to make sure that there is no spots of blood left on the court surface. And this is why blood injuries have to be treated immediately. if there was some sort of artificial protective skin you could spray on your knuckles before play so that um, it would be harder to grace them. Yeah. Good thinking, Steve. So I was thinking, well, ideal for Lakshya to play the last two rallies of the first game with um, that new taping on his uh, little finger. No. Did you manage to hear anything that Vimal Kumar and Prakash Patikon were Almost saying? nothing. I, I, th I think they talked about when uh, Lokin Yu is attacking, it's not necessary that uh, Lakshya Sen tries to get it as far away as possible again. So maybe just controlling it to the net. But uh, it's Second difficult game. when Lo has got time Love and all. he's hanging high in the air. Fine, uh, he's got a big smash, uh, Lokin yeah. Yu. So it's difficult to control it. The harder smash, the more difficult to control it. One low. I would expect, I mean, it depends a little bit whether um, the wind is like we um, read it yesterday, then Laksha would be playing up against the drift. Thank you. And um, that means he could use the back line a little bit more in his um, building on the rallies. I hope we've got a new shuttle, you know, because I saw on that replay that a feather was completely broken. Seven over, oh. one all. has opened up again. Yeah. What is the situation, Steen, if uh, they can't stop the bleeding and the, I mean, presumably they can put on you know, some tape, um, but that will restrict, because it's his racket hand, it will yeah. restrict his grip and, and feel very awkward. And, and then I suppose it's his choice as to whether he can continue or not. I think so. I'm, I'm not totally uh, fully up to date with the, um, the uh, scenarios there where if it's not possible to stop the bleeding. Um, I don't know. I, I think when it's, uh, when it's reasonably close to the palm, 
I think it's um, less serious than when it's at the fingertips because you use the fingertips to uh, to control the racket grip with, and and that would be really awkward to not have your fingers uh, sort of pressing against the uh, racket grip, but but some kind of taping. That would be different friction. Yeah. No, no doubt. It's a nasty graze. And the, it's one, one of those, what is it called? Joint? It's on yes, the it's on joint. the joint. And um, that's hard to tape because that, that will feel really awkward when you, when you bend it. Yeah, there's the spray for skin. Yeah. And, and the taping is before the joint, or after, that depends where, <laughs> where yeah. you look at it from. And it's not over the joint, and, and over the joint, that would feel uh, really, really awkward. I don't think they could put it over the joint, but maybe they can put some gauze over the joint and, and yes. anchor down. Exactly. Either Both. side. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. This is very unfortunate. But it does give us an opportunity to talk about the men's singles in general. I mean, uh, quite frankly, only three seeds. That's the least uh, at quarterfinal stage. That's the least of all five disciplines. But it's very diverse. We've got seven different flags next to the eight players in the quarterfinal stage. Yeah. But uh, still, there's been a lot of surprises in this Olympic tournament, or pre-Olympic tournament, yeah. the way I see it. And... Uh, that bodes for a, a very interesting uh, Olympics in 140 days. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of players that are in with a chance here uh, and, and have gotten some kind of belief and some kind of confidence that they can say, yeah, but if this goes mm. my way, then uh, I definitely have a chance of, uh, of a medal. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, talk about seven different flags. And uh, next to the uh, players in the men's singles, uh, would you believe that... In the men's doubles, there's eight different flags. Yeah. You know, it's only the fourth time in Super Series Grand Prix Gold and World Tour history that's we're now in the 378th tournament within that time frame. It's only the fourth time that's happened. Two, it's the second time one. because it happened Boy. at the India Open. Yeah, and, and uh, second I time think this year. There's some new nations coming up, and, and some of the old nations are struggling. Yeah. Well, play gets oh. underway again. Let's hope we won't Two have uh, any more interruptions, but I fear that we might. Over. Had a think about it, didn't yeah. it? And I think that's deliberate Two. play from Laxis and to play it into the court. Not trying to play it really close. Daring uh, low to uh, play sharp at the net. Oh, that's going wide. There is no question the sideways drift, I think, has remained Four, constant yeah. over the days of I this agree. tournament. And as we all look down during the rallies, the sideways drift is going from right to left. So from right to left as we look down now. Oh. Service over. Three, four. Excuse me. Three, four. Yeah, you watched that really carefully, <laughs> yeah. didn't he? Probably uh, a little bit worried about the sideways drift. You should have been a little bit more worried there. Yeah. Service over. Five, three. But he's definitely a, a medal contender, even though his ranking has dropped a little bit. Uh, low can you uh, must be one of the biggest medal hopes from uh, from Singapore. I think I'm right in saying that Singapore 
has only ever had one athlete win Olympic gold. Yes. Right. And that was Joseph Schooling, wasn't it? Swimmer. Was he a swimmer? Oh, that's a challenge. Yeah. Lachia challenges called Did you think that in. was wide? I think it was good enough to challenge, um, to have an extra look. Means I'm not prepared to call it. <laughs> <laughs> I was plumb on the line. Well done, challenge line judge. Unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Four, five. Play. Shot. Excellent. Five Super important all. for Lowe to, to mix up his attack with these drop shots. Because otherwise, like she said, like here, just goes into the defensive stance. But but the quality here is, uh, in my opinion, a little bit better than we've seen before from uh, from Lowe. That's, that's encouraging from a Singaporean perspective. Six, five. And I think the longer the rally goes on without um, sort of one of the players having a clear advantage in the rally, then the longer the rally goes on, the more likely it is that Lakshya Sen is going to win it. Yeah. Seven, five. Service over six seven. Nobody's really daring to go no. for the lines at the moment, are they? That's just wide. Back level. Seven, all. whether in fact he may have touched the net with his follow through. Do you seven. remember he was faulted for that yesterday, yeah. Lasher Sen? Yeah. I assume it must have just been the shuttle making the net move. Over eight all. Well, 
That's him. That's good control. Nine. From eight. Much ascent. Service My over. Goodness, you were talking about nine all. The disguise. I think that he's improved his disguise overhead. Yeah, I think so too. That's a beauty. play a lot below the tape but also past the white line you know the white service line yes. <laughs> uh, to get low to uh, to play from below the tape but without too much pace to uh, to feed off this is probably too close to the net Totally so mistimed his last shot. All. Good deception. Well, so as with the opening game, there's only one interval. point in it at the mid-game interval here in the second. But in contrast to the opening game, it is Lakshya Sen who has the advantage. Court one, twenty seconds. Court one, twenty seconds. Eleven, ten. Good night, short. Let's do twelve. Ten. Well, this is good little Ten. spell by this man, isn't it? Uh, super important to create a little uh, gap. It's a lovely net exchange. Service Great over. Skills. 11 13. Fifteen, eleven. 
Good smash there, not at all full pace. We need to low to gauge uh, how much pace he should put into it himself. Yeah. 16, 11. That's 5 1 since the interval, and, and low looks like uh, he's not there. Another round. Yeah, he's Seventeen. Off the boil. Totally. Eleven. To me, it looks like his mind is still at the interval somehow. Super valuable for Max because um, creating a cushion like this is what he must have dreamed of at the interval. Yeah, seven eight down. points yeah. since the interval. Yeah, but he did this yesterday, didn't 18, he? 11. I suspect he did it in his first round match too against the former champion Sunniyama. Drops the opening game and then comes back so strongly in the second half of the second game and very strongly in the decider. That's brilliant. My goodness me, where on earth did that come from? 12, 18. <laughs> oh, fantastic shot. Flat past exchanges initially in the rally. 19 12. Yeah, that was the indecision that cost him dear. Thank you. Deep in the forehand corner. Look, can you. Yeah, you can't take it that low. Nine discipline. 12. No men's singles when you're playing against one of the <laughs> fastest players in the world. <laughs> Two points away from the second game. And he's having so trouble with that, um, driving on 13, his finger. 19. Yeah, but he won't want to break at no, the moment. No. The momentum is with him. Game point so opportunities for Luxia Sen game point to level this quarterfinal at one game apiece. Service over. 14-20. Short. 
Punctures in. Hulk. 15, 20. Not on purpose, I'm assuming. Or I don't think so. No. I was going to say, if he's just trying to make his opponent attack or something. No, no. I don't think so. That was a perfect net shot from Loka Dew. Second game, 21-15, and one it's one game, game all. all, and we will be treated to a third and deciding game. 53 minutes this match has been in progress, and it's one game all. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Lakshya, on court? Just the tape Sorry? Just this one. It's delete. Don't delay. Final game. Love all. Well, he's saying he needs help because he can't cut the tape with the scissors himself. Play. Yeah, but that really should have been done during the two-minute interval. Lakshya, come here. Yeah. Lakshya, send warning for misconduct delay. The umpire's quite right, I think, Steen. I mean, I feel sorry for the man. He's got a very nasty graze yeah. on Love his all. finger, but that should have been done at, and seen to right at the start of the interval. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, One love. What he could have done is that he could have gone on court and then called for medical uh, assistance. Mm. So... I, th I think we need some um, some rules that are simpler and, and easier to uh, to comprehend for these medical timeouts. I think we need uh, clearer guidance. Yeah. First and foremost. I heard a very interesting thing. I believe I heard it because he doesn't speak that loud, Prakash Padukone. But he said, "Play whatever you're comfortable with. You don't have to. You don't have to play the word we're saying." I think interesting. That, I think that's that's a really really good advice. Yeah. Because it it is only advice, Three, and, and some players love. they uh, they try to follow. The guide, uh, the, the words of guidance, uh, to an extreme extent. 
And that's why it's so important the, the player-coach relationship, so you know exactly what the meaning is of yeah. um, of these little codes that are being used. Yeah, lovely. Four what was I saying towards love. the end of that second game, Steen, about Sen losing the first game in his previous two matches, yeah. coming back uh, strongly from the mid-game interval of the second game, and uh, finishing the third extremely strongly. Thank you. Didn't hear anything. I don't think you missed <laughs> it, <the> Joe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that this man has Four to be love. extremely careful right now. No, can you? That's a good lift from there. Wow. Fantastic defense from yeah. Laksha. So. Oh. Broke Service down the over. defense in the end. One, four. Service over. Five, one. I think Loken Mew is a little bit hesitant on the front court. I think he's lost a bit of confidence on his net play. Yeah. Excellent play. Yeah. Wonderful. Six, one. He's basically accepting uh, being down in the rally, uh, Laksia Sen. Accepting to give um, Lokin Yu a bit of the initiative. So in a controlled defense, and then waiting for the right chance to uh, counter. Oh, there should be a challenge there. Indeed, there is. Lock and new challenges called out. That was mighty close. Did it manage to kick the line? No. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Seven, one, play. I feel to a certain extent the same thing as we saw following the interval in the uh, second game is happening here. Eight, Lachia one. with the better plan. Which is being more patient and then going for the counter attack. More patient, keeping keeping uh, low away from uh, the possibilities of spinning it close at the net, just putting it away, overcovering the front court, not putting it away, but, but lifting it away, Two, overcovering eight. the front court. Oh, that's a good deception. Another one. 
Yeah, well played. <laughs> My goodness. Three, eight. Two hold and flicks. Played to perfection. And that could be uh, a game changer uh, in terms of looking you. If you got those deceptions, then don't hold them back. Slightly lucky for Eight. Loka Nyu. The attempted kill bounced on the top of the tape and just fell over. Take a look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Missed it. Well, Luxia Senna Five, after the rally, pointing eight. straight down to the forehand side of Loken Yu. In other words, saying to himself, shouldn't have Tarot. gone cross court. Quick, Quick I think he should have. You think that was the right shot? Yeah, I think. Five, eight. Service over, 9-5. Yeah, another error yep. on the next shot from Mo Ken Yu. Yep. Oh, challenge here from Lakshia Sen. challenges called out. Line judge was a little bit late in calling it, in my opinion, and I think that triggered Lakshay into uh, challenging. Yeah, I agree. Well, it was definitely out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Six nine. Line judges have been proved right every Play. time in this match when yeah. players have challenged so far. Service over, Sen, who has the, the advantage, a five-point advantage at the change of ends here in the third and deciding game. When you really cannot like cannot bring down, but if you still can bring down, be down first. One, not twenty choice, seconds. Last, one, last, last point, twenty seconds. seconds. Is a healthy lead in this deciding game for Lakshya Sen. Oh, 
beautiful. That is wonderful. Six. Thank you. It's not a game of many clears. No. Yeah. I don't think. I don't know if any of them have played a clear in the third game. I'm pretty certain that Lowe hasn't. Thirteen. Six. A huge effort from here for Luke and you, but it's certainly not impossible. Six point deficit. Good shot. Eight, thirteen. I guess that's what all the other players are fearful of. That's when Luke and you start hitting the lines with his smashes. Like he did in Huelva back in uh, 2021. That's right. Yeah, and that's nice disguise on the reverse slice cross court drop. out for this man. Yeah. Sixteen nine. I still haven't seen a clear from Loken. You certainly it must be beneficial to open up the court to have the backcourt corners as a possibility. Everything from the backcourt of the Singaporean has been downwards. Oh. Service over. Ten sixteen. Sixteen. 
Good defence off the body. Oh, my word. <laughs> That's a fantastic rally. Oh. Yeah, the final cross court net shot from Loka Yu was desperately loose and it got what it deserved. Uh, what defence. What intensity in the rally. Yeah, that's a bit of a shocker. Signaling something. Oh, yeah. Matt, and please check the hand as well. But the, the, the court. Just on the court. Is the umpire concerned about blood on the court? I think maybe. Actually, Sam was quite adamant, and it? it was fine. He didn't need treatment. Yeah, I think the uh, the tape has um, has come off. Yeah, it was the court attendant, I think, that noticed some of the drops of blood. Seventeen eleven, play. So seventeen eleven, and the umpire calls for play to resume. Play. Service over. Yeah, it's basically the 12, start 17. of the third game that's come down to uh, yeah. Mont looking you. Yeah, he was one eight down, wasn't he? Yeah. Service over, 18, 12. Two points away 19, from the semi-final. This man, Naksha Sen. Point opportunities. Point 13. For Lakshya Sen. his racket for an outright winner and Lakshya Sen becomes only the third player from India to reach the semi-final of the French Open 
in the Super Series and now World Tour era. Following in the footsteps of Kidambi Srikan and Pranoy. 21-15, Well, he's won all of his matches the hard way, coming from a game down. Uh, that was a gutsy performance by Lakshya Sen. And what an extraordinary final rally. Take a look at this. Just puts his rackets in front of the flight path of the shuttle and gets the lucky rebound. through to the semi-final where he will play against the reigning world champion Hunwood Widersan. What a really super match that was. Confirmation of the score 19-21, 21-15, 21-13 in the deciding game in a match lasting an hour and 18 minutes.